Um, I'm going to now call on Joseph to introduce us to some of the main uh, state-based non-judicial mechanisms working in this space and perhaps to give us a bit of an assessment as to how well they're working. Thank you. Thanks very much, Jennifer, and thanks to all of you for being here uh, early this Monday morning. Um, I'm sure many of you in the room are at least uh, as expert in the, the area of, of remedy and as experienced as we are here. So, but because of this, uh, this session is, is the introduction on access to remedy, um, I'm going to start with um, what I hope will wake a few people up here in the morning um, and start with a metaphor uh, about remedy that I like to use. Um, came up with it a couple of years ago, uh, thinking of the anatomy of remedy. Um, and over breakfast one morning, I was getting ready to give a presentation at the EU uh, conference, and this idea came to me. Um, that If we think about uh, particularly the relationship between judicial remedy that Richard's just talked about and non-judicial remedy, which uh, Bonita, Bonnie, and I are going to speak about a little bit, um, was thinking about the human body uh, and, and judicial remedy being really the spine, the backbone uh, of the system that we need to have here. It's where uh, basically all the, the strength of the system is, is derived from this. It's necessary to keep the entire system basically standing up straight. Uh, so nothing can really function, the, the remedy system cannot function if uh, the judicial, access to judicial remedy is not, uh, is not in place. The non-judicial remedy, um, and then I'm going to be speaking about state-based and Bonnie about uh, uh, non-state-based, but the non-judicial remedy sort of in, in general I think can be more uh, thought of in terms of the fingertips of, this, of the system. Uh, the fingertips that can uh, potentially get into more places, uh, can get further away and just maybe treat issues, treat uh, problems before they come, become really serious uh, abuses, which when that happens you really need to rely back on the backbone uh, of the system to, uh, to, to, to address the issues. Uh, but the fingertips, uh, there, are, there, are, there are many of them. They can, they can get out in a lot of different ways in the system um, and start treating some of the, the problems, the issues um, that, we, that we see arising in the field of, of business, business impacts on, on people and the environment. Um, and they can do so in a way that is more, a little more sensitive maybe um, and a little more in tune to local context or in tune to uh, particular relationships between companies and between uh, communities and workers. Um, but again, without the backbone, the fingertips lose their feeling, right? The fingertips can't, can't function without that backbone. So just keep this sort of metaphor in mind as we as we go through this a little bit. Um, 